high water levels and strong currents in the Ohio River today lead a rescue team to suspend efforts to recover that car that plunged into it from the Combs Hale Bridge. That means it could be days before we know about the people who may be in that car. Local 12's Megan Mangello is along the river with the newest information on the recovery effort. Megan. Well, good afternoon. I can tell you that no boats were in the water today and no divers. Very little action out here, but we do, uh, we are told that they know exactly where that submerged car is. It's right in the middle of the river, but it's just too dangerous. The water level's too high, the river's too murky, and the current is too fast for them to try and get to that car right now. We want to show you what this scene looked like about 4.30 this ap uh, yesterday afternoon. Traffic was backed up for miles as lanes on the the Combs Hale Bridge was closed. This whole thing started with a 12, 12 vehicle chain reaction crash. Somehow a car was hit. It flew up into the air over the concrete barrier through the bridge supports and dropped, crashing into the river below. As you can imagine, the drivers who saw this accident happen were very shaken up. And here's what they told 911 dispatchers. Going around the loop, over the bridge, going over the river right now. I believe a car just went over the edge. Okay, over it. Over the edge, over the edge, okay. into the river. Go down. This man, there's an accident on uh, 275, right by Kellogg. The car went off the bridge into the river. Boats, divers, and helicopters were used to try and find the vehicle. As I said, they located it towards the middle of the river, but it's just so dark in that water that divers really couldn't see anything. So at this point, we don't know how many people were in that vehicle, if it was one driver or if there were multiple people involved. And unfortunately, we won't know until they're able to go back into the water. Now, according to the Campbell County Police Chief, they say it could be possibly Sunday into Monday before they're able to come back out here and try and discover what exactly is under that water. Reporting live along the Ohio River, Megan Mangello, Local 12 News. Megan, thanks very much. Campbell County Police say they have gotten some information the car is possibly a Pontiac Grand Prix or a similar type, and it's red. They're asking the public to report any missing family or friends who might have been in that area.